Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and we're in for a sweet treat today as we make some good dough in Bakery Biz Tycoon. Hello and welcome, by the way. Congratulations to you on your new job here at Rapco Bakeries. We're going to be making a ton of money and a ton of... We're going to get we're going to get that bread today. And look down there. Do you see that? These are the two most delicious things in the world. I love cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon buns are the best. If you've ever been past a Cinnabon in the United States in a mall or an airport or something like that, those things are illegally delicious. I think I've even seen them in Japan and stuff, too. So without further ado, let's start ourselves a new bakery here and make that money. Let's go ahead and uh, name our company Rapco. We're also going to pick somebody who looks somewhat like me. Let's see here. Oh, that's perfect. And let's find something that really appeals to our uh, audience here. We actually have a lot of people watching from the Netherlands. So let's find something that really appeals to them. Uh, like, uh, oh, I don't, oh, that's that would be perfect. All right, let's start out with the maximum amount of money so we can see the most amount of this game in the shortest amount of time. And let's get started here at Rapco. All right, congratulations again to you on your new job. All right, so we're in uh, zero place, last place. We just started. No money, no profits, no expenses, no fun. Not yet, anyway, until we turn Granddad's old bakery into a thriving empire. Let's go into the next week here and get started by uh, going to Middleton. And then we're going to buy ourselves a, a bakery and a factory in order to make bread, too. All right, perfect. Grandfather's Bakery, he gave you. Excellent. Let's start making some new products so that way we can uh, start filling them into the stores. Let's make a delicious new product that no one can resist, something that's just tasty and scrumptious that everybody really wants. Let's see. So we can make regular white bread here, croissants and buns and crackers, and it looks like uh, regular uh, bread and pretzels. Mmm, those, those wonderful little delicious buns, though. We're going to have to start with some basic bread, though. i got to be basic. So let's go ahead and start with some sort of regular loaf. That should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and call this one Dap Bread, because everyone want to get Dap Bread. All right, there we go. Perfect. Let's start with this. Mm, let's start with standard production on this one. This is going to be our standard product, but we'll do it in a traditional manner. And let's hire a uh, regular main baker here to maybe do something. Oh, this guy's very affordable. All right, let's go ahead and say this is a new recipe. Wow, look at that. 37, 39 on the market research. Perfect. Let's go ahead and charge. Um, let's charge 75 on this one. There we go. That should be a good number there. Something to get the money in, right? It's only $1.88, the final unit cost. We're only making 81 cents. So it's really not a lot of... we got to sell volumes in order to make money here. So let's save that product. And let's go ahead and turn on our bakery. So we got to upgrade it so at least can make one production. And let's go ahead and buy 300 of those bad boys. Perfect. Now we can also hire a, a head baker too. And I think that increases the... Uh, the skills and whatnot, like the uh, quality of the product. But we'll start cheap now. we got to go dirt cheap in order to afford stuff. We also need to upgrade our warehouse so we can make some stored items. Okay, let's head over to the bakery. Luckily, we can sell them right away, though, at the old bakery. So let's go ahead and hire a store manager here. Somebody cheap, if we can. Oh, perfect. Let's hire somebody just with one star to get us up. All right, so now our bakery is open. We have a number of stores. One, clients per day, 18. Nobody's buying any bread just yet. We're just getting started. Let's go make another product. Let's upgrade our bakery to have two uh, areas to store. Oh, I wonder if we can make cakes here. That'd be cool, too. All right, let's go ahead and make a new product now. Product number two. Let's also hire a head baker now for our second product. Whoa. Weekly cost. There we go. We'll hire you. There we go. I want to be dirt cheap for now. Let's start a new product now. And let's do some, uh, what else would people really like? Let's see. I would like to have myself. Let's try a pretzel. Let's go ahead and call it uh, ba basically poison. There we go. All right. I sold basically poison to everyone in town and this happened. All right, let's go ahead and try to do a uh, baker for this product as well. Uh, perfect. Let's go ahead and say this is a new recipe. Oh, and also, uh, I forgot to select. Uh, let's see. Let's do good quality in a uh, traditional manner. Oh, look at that. 43 on that one. Let's go ahead and sell that one for 75%. There we go. 78 cents. Let's try to make a little bit more. Let's do 80 cents on that one. Uh, overall rating is 64.43. Wow, look at that. Let's actually back that down. There we go. Perfect. All right, when we when we left it blank, yeah, that's when it was uh, doing okay. All right, let's save that product there. On to the next week. So we're losing a ton of money because we're making uh, upgrades to our bakeries and purchasing stuff and whatnot. So let's go ahead and start production on some more pretzels now, basically poison, and that bread. And then we'll have to make a third product too. Now there's a bakery competition that we've got to win. We've got to knock out the competition and uh, show them how dominant we are. So let's go ahead and go back to the uh, regular old bakery again. Maybe we could buy some new bakeries and get some more saturation in town. Let's see. Can we expand to any other towns? I think we have to unlock those. So let's go ahead and head back to Middleton. See if we can buy another bakery then maybe to expand our influence. Uh, we own the store over here. So let's try to buy another one over here maybe. 
Let's try that one. Is there a way we can rent that? Rent a store. This is a place where you can sell your products. Doesn't seem like I can buy it just yet. Looks like we're only operating at one bakery, which is this one so far. Oh, look at that. We actually have 17 sales. Almost everyone who's coming in is buying something. Excellent. And how much money are we making? Let's see. Current month uh, or last week. Current current day. There we go. We're up 66 bucks. Awesome. All right, we're finally starting to make that bread with that bread and some poison, too. Last week, uh, or the current week, is uh, negative two, uh, 24, uh, 2,400, so we need to make that back in the next couple of days. We'll probably still be negative until we really get up there and start winning some uh, winning some battles against the others. We've got to sell some better products. Not too bad. Negative only 2,000. Very good. All right, we're going to do better this next week. Here we go, and then we'll be ready. Did you see that also? We had the highest sales, too. We were making a ton of bread. All right, let's see. How much do we have in store? Produce 900. Oh, we don't have much in the warehouse. All right, we better produce some more. Only a little bit of pretzels left. Keep that production going. All right, we got to make some more. Perfect. All right, so now we got some stuff going. I wonder if we should make a new product. We'll have to upgrade our bakery again, though. Let's see. What are these other indicators? Uh, let's see. This is our store view, isn't it? Yep. Store view. Ah, here we are. This is our marketing department. Perfect. Now we should start some marketing. We can expand the marketing office. Marketing indicator is 13 right now. Let's try to get a little bit more brand awareness. Let's do a marketing manager. We'll hire you. Uh, let's see. Marketing indicator is bad. Brand index is bad. Let's go ahead and expand the office. And let's start a uh, Middleton campaign of leaflets and billboards. Perfect. There we go. Brand index. That should go up in a little bit of time. Let's see. Upgrade cost is quite expensive for the next level, but it will allow us for more social media and stuff. Marketing indicator should go up then soon. Okay, very good. I'm glad we clicked on this one. I don't know what that last one is, though. Maybe we can design our own website? That'd be kind of cool. All right. We got to make another product, I think. All right. Negative 6,000 because we had all of our expenses from upgrading again. Ah, uh, but we're still in the lead. We're starting to sell some more products. Get that bread, baby. Doing here. Let's go back to the bakery. All right, we need to keep on. We're, we need to produce. We need to produce. People are buying up those pretzels like crazy. Keep pumping them out. Let's make some more uh, pretzels then. I love this music. What am I doing? Playing. Uh, I think I'm playing like. Uh, playing a coaster or something like that. All right, we need to make a third product. So that way we can. Uh, I'm going to actually. Maybe we should make like 600 of these or something. We'll go back and forth because we're nearing our capacity. We'll make one more and we should be good. All right, there we go. We made tons of those. All right, we need to make another product now to enter that bakery competition. We got to get making something epic. How are we doing here at the uh, marketing office? Oh, no, don't show me any more tips. We're good on that. We're just improving here. There we go. It just takes a little bit of time. Marketing indicator and brand index is going up. Good, good. All right. And back to Middleton. Take a look at things. Wow, look at this town, too. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see trams going up and down the roadway. You can see uh, no cars or anything like that, but it's definitely a bustling downtown area. That's really awesome. Let's go ahead and try, uh, let's see, weekly costs are 425 on that. Okay. So look at that. Current week. Current day. Ooh, ooh we're getting close on that money. Uh oh we're, we're going to go bankrupt. All right, before I go bankrupt, I need to do something crazy. Look at Rapco. We're dumping out the... Uh, we're, we're just dumping out the items. Hold on a second. I got an idea. We're going crazy. I, I can't lose any more money. We can't do it. I'm going to go crazy now. Here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to edit that bread to be 100%. New opinion of our bread is low, but that's fine. we got to get that money with that bread. There we go. Uh-oh. And they're buying that stuff like crazy. All right, make some more pretzels. we got to make a new product. That means I'm going to have to upgrade the bakery again, which is going to cost us 4500 So I can't make something crazy to enter the bakery competition with. There we go. We produced 900 we got to stay afloat. Where's our money? Oh, we got to keep making all this stuff. Can we take out loans? Let's see if there's a way to take out any sort of loan. All right, here's our company. Sales report. Company's rating. Days in the game are 33. A lot of little statistics here. Okay, let's see here. Okay, things are looking pretty good, actually. 
Although it's going to be uh, pretty much death for us here in a second. Okay. So we're not going to do any more advertising. Let's see how things go. Back to town. Back to the old bakery. Keep an eye on products. All right, we're at day seven. This should be the end here. Unless we turn a profit. Come on, we can do it. Oh, I'm getting a call. New phone, who dis? Am I interested in the bakery festival? Yes, I am. Ooh, we can put ba basically poison. Let's try to go for basically poison. Here we go. These guys are going to be up in the 50s. Watch this. We're not going to win this one. 31, 37, 52, man, and 38. The Travis family has uh, destroyed me in the br- Damn it. I need to come back and get them with a vengeance. It's not over yet, Travis family. I will get you. Let's go again. Here we go. Let's get that bread. All right, round two. We got to take down that Travis family now, no matter what. My only goal now is not to build the biggest empire, but to take them down. That I know it's called the Travy, which makes me think of gravy, which makes me hungry. And I'm going to have the best biscuits and gravy in town, so it's time to take them down. Our goal now is to win a bakery competition and defame those who've defeated us in the past. So let's get right back to the bakery and let's make a good old product. First, we need to be able to upgrade to level one so we can make a product. Let's go and buy a bakery too. Let's head back to Middleton so that way we can actually buy a bakery so that we can sell our products. Let's do this one. Good enough for me. Let's make sure we upgrade it. Next level of products. There we go. Let's go ahead and upgrade to like level. Let's make like five, five crazy products. We're going to do five crazy products. No managers, no extra people, no extras. We just want craziness. All right, let's make our first new product, which we're going to go ahead and exp the name. Uh, let's go ahead and exper uh, let's call this one experiment. Uh, 77-X. Experiment 77-X. <laughs> I'm sure that sounds very tasty to everybody. Uh, let's see. There we go. Perfect. That looks like it's uh, that looks like it's an experiment to me. All right, let's make it out of organic materials. We're going to do it the traditional way, and we're going to hire a main baker who's going to be in charge of doing nothing but taking care of this delicious product. Yes, market research says it's 41, 43. Perfect. All right, let's save that first product. Excellent. On to our next one. Experiment. Uh, let's go ahead and call this one, uh, let's see, government. We'll call this one the government loaf. That's right. We were uh, chartered by the government now to make uh, some sort of a government-style bread. Let's see here. There we go. This looks this looks official and governmental. Let's go ahead and make this one the standard method. Let's do it the industrial way, and let's hire somebody who is uh, cheap. Let's make a crappy product. Let's see how that works. Uh, that's fine. New recipe. Market research says it's uh, tw uh, let's see the 22 on that one. Dollar 38. We make 57 cents per unit. Good. Let's go ahead and do that one. Excellent. New product. We're gonna call this one uh, fancy cracker. We're gonna oh, Fran fancy cracker. That sounds uh, there. That sounds that sounds good. Oh, wait. All right, and we're going to put a little special ingredient in that one. There we go. Let's make it the uh, traditional way. And let's go ahead and uh, hire somebody to make just specifically this thing. Okay, let's do the new recipe. Whoa! Francy Cracker has an automatic 43. 47? What? Even if I go organic and bio, what does that do? 51! Oh, we're starting to hit some big numbers here. Hold on a second. Let's do some more. Oh, boy. There we go. Now we got something to beat that, that damn family. Good. I'm glad we put a little... A crack in our cracker. Perfect. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and save this one. That's exactly what I want. Uh, let's see if we could save that one. What? Why did it drop down again? 35. Wait a minute. The number changed. New recipe. Wait, does the number keep changing every time? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, keep, keep messing that recipe up. Keep messing that recipe up. Come on. Get me up there. Get me up there. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Roll that dice. That's exactly how to modify it. Perfect. I'm a professional baker now. So that's what you do. You keep clicking that new recipe until you get something that's cracktastic. All right, there we go. All right, and speaking of which, let's go ahead and call this our cracktastic buns. And we'll put a Z in there for the uh, modern youth. Let's go ahead and make it uh, good quality. Tr now let's make it the industrial way, though. And we'll hire some regular baker on that one. 31. Now, come on, give me some better numbers. Give me the better numbers. These are rookie numbers. Get those numbers up. Come on. There we go. 33. Perfect. All right, let's charge 75 for this one. Come on, give me, give me a better one. Come on, come on, something better. There we go, 36 is good. Save that one, perfect. Dat bread dough. All right. Now, let's go ahead and start making production because we're wasting time. It's like you have to pause in this game. I should have been pausing while I was, like, making uh, designs and things like that. The game should automatically pause if you're in the, like, bread creation menu. Otherwise, we're just sitting here not making anything for months, which is fine. All right, at least they're going to be sold at that bakery now. Oh, I got to say 300, too. All right, let's make more of those. Perfect. 
right, one last product, something to beat the uh, Travis family. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and make one more last product that says the. Uh, I know it's not. I know their name's not Travis. Perfect. Let's go ahead and call this one Travis Family Sucks, and it's literally just going to be a tire, a flat tire, like their business model got them destroyed. And let's we got to make sure that this absolutely destroys them. All I'm all I'm here to do is to win the baking competition. I don't even care. Right, let's see here, 34. Come on, give me some. Come on, come on, Becky, give me something better. Come on, put more crack in there. Sprinkle the crack. Let's go. All right, 52 is a sol solid product. That's solid. All right, go with it. All right, start production. Let's make 300 on these. All right, so all this stuff, by the way, is going immediately. We don't have any warehouse space, but it's immediately going into the uh, bakery to be sold, so that's fine. We just don't have any extra room to store it, as you can see here. Number of stores, one. What? Don't tell me the game is dumb enough to where you actually have to store this stuff. What? Well, you make stuff and it just immediately just gets dumped into a bin? Why isn't it going to the bakery? Oh, that is that is the dumbest business model ever. Hold on a second. We're going to have to wait. To, to, let's wait to the end of the month. I don't care. I don't care if we go bankrupt. We're making products to defeat the Travis family. Oh, good. Let's enter this competition. Hell yes. Oh, yes. How about you guys take my 55 fancy cracker? How about that? Take my fancy cracker right there to the face. Start that competition. Beat the Travis family. Come on. 27, 38, 48. Yes! Yes! We have won. And we've gone bankrupt, I'm sure. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Alright, let's make an actual company that's good now. I got my revenge on the Travis company. Let's do it again. One more time. Let's get that bread one more again. Down below in that comment section, cheer me out. Get those claps going. I'm excited. Let's make that bread. Let's do it. Making that bread, making that bread. Let's go. Alright, we're going to start a company again. That kind of looked like me. Let's go uh, back. I either like dark hair. There, that's that's perfect. Alright, let's go with this one. Alright, I need a new company name because I've used that one too many times. So let's go with uh, something that looks nice. Oh, there we go. Rustic bread. Perfect. We call it natural, and so thus it must be. Okay, we're starting for real now. Now let's try to at least turn it around, make some money. We know how it works, so let's go. Back to Middleton. We know we got to do some research. We know we got to start small, right? So let's go ahead and start with product number one. All right, we're going to go ahead and call this one, uh, let's see, tra traditional gr granny's fave, get granny's class, homemade. Home style. Oh, something good. Come on. Uh, dab bread. No, 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 no. Don't go for memes. You're not good at that. Come on. Do do what you're good at. What? Plain bread. Plain pl plain Jane. Wait. How do you spell plain? Is it pl P L A I N? Plain Jane. All right. We'll call this one the Plain Jane. Perfect. That's good. That's a good start. All right. Let's go with that. Right. Like a nice little regular bread. Or should we do the white bread? Let's just do that white bread. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Perfect for like sandwiches and stuff like that. We'll make a standard quality bread in a traditional manner. Actually, let's go with good ingredients. And let's hire a regular baker on this one. Whoa, not no 720. There we go. You're good. You're good. All right, give me that recipe. 30 is good. Give me something a little better. 36 better. I don't think we're going to find much more than that. So let's go ahead and save that product right there. Perfect. We have ourselves the plain Jane. Okay, let's get that bread. Okay, so oh, also, crap, i got to like pause time. This game is relentless and like having time roll forward even when you're not ready. Okay, we have ourselves a bakery now. I'm going to at least hire a manager because I want sales to be up. That's really important to make sure we're good on sales. Oh, I guess I can't find a manager if time is paused. Cruel. This game is cruel. Okay, let's keep finding somebody good. There, that's fine. That's good. Okay, let's upgrade the bakery. We want it to at least be level store 2 so we can make more than one product. Let's go back to the bakery. Come on now. All right, now start production. What the hell? That's not what my product looks like. What the... What? That's not even anything that I chose or made at all. What the hell? What is going on? I didn't... What? Is game... What's going on? The game is, like, frozen. Hello? What the... F That's... I called it Plain Jane and I didn't pick... Baguettes. I... What the hell? Is it because it's paused? Oh, there it goes. Oh, the game... If you pause, the game doesn't even load basic function. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, let's go ahead and put 300... I can't do anything paused. It has to be on play, then. I can't make any changes to the bakery without doing that. Wait, now we got to upgrade the bakery to level 1. There we go. Alright, so I guess we still have to play with it rolling, okay? Oh, it, it does pause in this menu. Okay, we're good. We're confirmed. Okay, we got it. Alright. Okay, let's go ahead and call this one Cinna... Cinna... There we go. Perfect. We're going for that, like, you know, that, like, little kooky, you know, family-owned, like, retro bakery now. So we're going to call this one the Cinnabon. Perfect. 
Let's go ahead and make this one out of good ingredients, traditional manner. And let's go ahead and assign a regular baker to that. Actually, no, let's not. Let's not. New recipe. Give me a 33. Come on. Give me. Yeah, there we go. Let's go with that one. Save that product, baby. 75% though. We need to make money. Final unit price is 257. Come on. This is that. This is that neighborhood, family-owned kind of deal. All right. Perfect. Okay. Let's start production on. Uh, wait. We gotta upgrade that. I gotta remember too. We gotta upgrade the warehouse. Why would the warehouse start where it doesn't hold product? Why would Why would anybody own a warehouse that literally is just like not able to store? If you don't upgrade it, I don't think it stores stuff. Okay, we're making sales now. Good. Okay, let's get more of that that white bread, that plain Jane. Give me some of that plain Jane. Uh, back here. Okay, two sixty-seven. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we just need to be able to offer a, a number of products that really bring in a lot of good stuff. Can we buy another store location? Let's try that. What if we buy one over here? Equipment costs are eighteen thousand. We don't even have anywhere near that. Man, bakeries are expensive. And by the way, eighteen thousand dollars for what? A cash register? Everything's being made here. Oh wow! And they're really gobbling up those sinner bonds. Go, baby. Make that bread. There we go. Keep doing that. All right. Should we make another product? Should upgrade maybe and make another product. Our expenses are going to be a lot less now because I'm not going with the fancy pan stuff. So let's go for uh, another bakery upgrade. Level 3. For 1500 that's really reasonable. Let's go ahead and continue to upgrade that. There. I think uh, having four, maybe five products. Let's try to go for five products. I'll make in this store. Six? All right, let's go for the maximum products. Let's try to make a, a good offering. Get people through that door. Sales per day is 20. Okay, we, get, we need to do a variety of products, for sure. Back to the factory, then. Ooh, numbers are starting to turn. Okay, good. Maybe we should go slow. I'm getting a little greedy. But I can't stop. Let's make some more bread. It's not too expensive to make a new product. Okay, let's go with, uh... Let's see. Wait, we gotta... Come on, something good. What do we got here? Uh, let's see... Uh, ge crunchy gear, crunch gear, crunch time, crunch, crunch, Captain Admiral, Admiral Munch. Is that how you spell Admiral? I don't know, that's how I spell Admiral. That's perfect. All right, let's make this the industrial way, though. Lower those costs, baby. New, new recipe. 25, 24, 21, 17. 25 is about the best we're going to get. Go, save that product. Make that bread. Make those crackers. Go. Wow, we're just going through this stuff like crazy. All right, perfect. Actually, I think the... I don't know. All right, back to Middleton. Let's check that bakery. Let's just try to make some money here. Ooh, look at those total sales. Those are going way up. Excellent. How much money are we making? Ooh, good. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. All right, I'm going to save money a little bit. I'm going to try not to make anything. Come on, put your fingers together. Let's try to... Let's not go bankrupt in, in, in the bakery. Come on. So it's from, from bread to crumbs. How much stuff do we have? What's our stock? Does it say stock? Sales and stores. Does it tell me stock? Oh, boy. Let's go back to the bakery. Oh, it's day six. We're not making enough sales. Buying a new bakery is super expensive. Oh, God. Oh, we're running low on product. Come on, keep pumping it out, baby. Oh my goodness, we actually have some cash. I can't believe it, we're not doing too bad. Rapco is making incredible amounts of sales next week. Keep going. Come on, let's keep pumping it out. Keep those products going. What do we got here? Come on, we can do this. Plain Jane. Okay, 4,000. Let's make another new product. we got to get people into the bakery. Let's make a uh, standard new new item. Uh, industrial, but with a better baker. No, no, no baker. Forget it. Let's go with the, uh, not the baguettes. I don't even know what some of those things are. Let's go ahead and call these do-nots. They're not donuts. They're do-nots. Perfect. Excellent. As in, do not purchase this product. It is industrial waste. 27! Holy crap! Alright, let's go ahead and save that one too. 
All right, let's try to make some of those. 117. Man, people are loving those crackers. Look at those numbers go down. In stock and after production. Should be able to keep track of production in the bakery. It doesn't seem like there's an indicator for that, is there? Not that I've seen. Let's go back to the bakery itself. We can see what sales are and how much we're making per day. Current week, we're negative uh, 2,728. Yeah, I've made a few new products, so that accounts for the hundreds of dollars there. Increase the number of customers and their opinion about the store is good. How much are we doing? Oh, look at the sales. They're going crazy. People are coming in and buying like two, three of a, of a certain thing. That's beautiful. Get them sales up, baby. That's better than zero. Better than, a, than not making a sale. Day six. Oh, we're still down money-wise. So it looks like we start out... Let's see, last week we were actually making money. So we actually have turned profitable week-wise. All right, I just got to learn to not... All right, don't... Okay, don't make anything else. Don't do any more spending money. We can do it later. Come on. Don't do it, Raptor. Come on. Oh, my goodness. That's going up. Ooh. Oh, we have a bakery festival coming up. Yes. Let's say we're interested. We probably don't have much that can compete. Let's try the Cinnabon. That's best. But I think anything 40 or higher is really what we need. We're not even going to win this one. So let's give it a shot. We can. Oh, already beat by the... Uh, damn it, the Travis family again. My arch nemesis. I knew it. Well, I don't think there's any... There's no bad for not coming in first. But coming in first, I think, just gives you, like, an instant marketing bonus. Let's go back to the bakery. How are we doing on stuff? Boy, we really got to start production. How does everything get gobbled up like that? All right, here we go. Start prepping those products again. Yeah, our people are hungry. Wow, plain, plain Jane is uh, $3.70 price. That's pretty good. I think we should make another uh, another product. Should we do it or am I going crazy? Ah, we need to keep up with production. Keep making that stuff. I wonder if weekly stock zeroes out. Is this spread all going to waste here? If we see if it zeroes out too. There's some game quirks we need to learn. How are we doing money-wise? It's day seven, so it's the end of the week. See that stock go down. There we go. Ooh, we're still... Oh, boys! Oh, oh, but look at our bakery. It's almost selling, like, up in the thousands now. Good. All right, let's go to the next week. And let's go ahead and edit our products this time. Let's try to change the prices a little bit. Okay. Why is everything the same? There. If time stands still, that doesn't explain. I can't even click the edit button. Come on, that's dumb. Let me at least edit the product. All right, let's try to save ourselves from bake, 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 baker rip, rip, see. Uh huh. -huh. Okay, let's go ahead and try the hundo. Come on, boys, save your local bakery. I know I've been poisoning you, but please love me. Oh, look at those numbers go down. Oh, new opinion is 40 on the do nots? What? How does opinion go up? Oh, 12. 25. Wait, how do you how do you magically change the number? What? How does the opinion just change to, for no reason? What? That means I can just scam the game. 33? Look at this. 55. You guys think of 55? What? How does that work? I increase the price and the opinion goes up? What? That makes literally no sense. And I've just wasted the entire week adjusting prices. How ridiculous. The game had to be unpaused for me to change those numbers like that. What? That's so stupid! All right, whatever. Anyway, we tried to make some bread, but I at least uh, made some people laugh, I think. But don't worry, everyone's salty tears for, uh, you know, for it being painful to watch and for yelling at your screen. Go ahead and put a Cinnabon in your mouth and calm down because bakery biz is a lot of fun there's definitely some things that need to change this is the early access version to it so to the devs i would say 
If you pause the game in order to make changes to prices, it shouldn't take seven days to adjust the prices. And there seems to be a few things to uh, scam your customers. Like, for example, uh, you know, continuously adjusting the price until your uh, number goes up. So I guess in retrospect, if I go back and save some things at like 100% price and then just keep clicking save until the actual rating of the product goes up, that's a few things that shouldn't really affect people's uh, opinion of it. That's like in City Skylines, if you keep turning up and down your taxes until people suddenly just decide that they're happy with being charged 400% taxes or something like that. All right, today was awesome, guys. Thanks for being here. Lots of fun in Bakery Biz Tycoon. It's a game you can keep playing time and time again, and I see it uh, being a lot better. So uh, don't judge it. Don't judge a bread by its crust, only by its flavor and taste. And I think this one was pretty delicious. Can't wait to see it develop some more, and we'll come back and check it out soon. If you enjoyed this, make sure you click or tap that like button to let me know you like uh, bakery games and tycoons, and I'll be back for more. Thanks for dropping by, folks, and I hope you enjoyed your first day at Rapco. And by the way, everyone's fired. Yay, because we're all bankrupt. <laughs> all right, I had tons of fun. That's what it's all about. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody.